trying to get the charger to attach to my phone and not drag my phone around on this crane. Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for coming right back. I had like 32 people on. That was more than ever. Usually it's like 16 people. So that was crazy. I hope everybody comes back. Let me check on Travis real quick and I'll be right back. See if he went to bed. I bet he is. He's like 10 p.m. It's time to go to bed. Ooh. 
Sorry about that, guys. The cats demanded uh, more treats, or they were not going to leave me alone. And then uh, said goodnight to Travis. So this one we have another exploration, more of a diagnostic thing. Explore, explore. This one's going to be a drainage issue, but this is cool what they do. They divert the urine. from the ureters And they insert a tube. It exits the body. All of these are under the umbrella of a poly, poly, polyoctomy, whatever, P-Y-E-L-O-T-O-M-Y. Did a lot of female OB and delivery in those procedures and the male genitalia procedures, but I didn't do a lot of urinary procedures. So I didn't learn all the language as far as the pronunciations of things here. This one's going to deal with stones. And this is secondary. And things don't go right the first time. We gotta try, try again. I forgot to highlight this page. Let's see if we can't find anything. This one right here on the 130 has an AK or two or three or four right there. Everything that's in those brackets could be listed. This one right here is all of this. We need to write congenital up underneath here too. Yep, 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 yep. What else do I have? Tow cars. Tow cars. Anybody else got any parentheses? I see not much. Just an S or in brackets. That's it. So I've got some for your informations, of course. Those will get a little green star for me unless they have something about use one code with another one. If it's related to that code, then that's good. Or if it says anything about a modifier, I like to. This one right here for radiology. So if we need guidance or interpretation, be sure and add those. 
This one's just a regular for your information. For your information. special nothing special okay do a little note up here that the 50220 through 50230 and just the 50240 those are all partials This could help you during the exam because you could go straight to this thing and, and know if you're looking for partial or total, it would have to be one of these codes if it's partial, and then it'll be these codes if it's total. So a little time saver chart thingy. So we'll do five, oh, two, three, four, through. Some of them are through those numbers, so that's 10 numbers, and this was just one number by itself. And then 5, oh, two, three, five. It's just two numbers. But those are the two total procedures. But just a little, little snippy snip of some good information right there. only got nine to come back of the 30 I had before oh well it is getting late and hopefully if these record yay my five hours is done so let me go into here and let me delete that five hour video from my poor phone and then I can download another one so in my YouTube, I have what? I know I have a ton I could download. I only have one from the 28th and one from the 26th. I got two from the 26s. It's probably something I need to get rid of one of them. I don't know. Are they the same amount of time? Yep. I posted it twice. Good gracious. Since it's the same time, I know it's the same date. Okay. 26th and 28th. Then I go to my Tiki Talk. I need me a, a person to take care of all my videos. And then Live Center. And then Replays. To keep up with what date got posted when. On where. So the 29th has three hours I need to download. But the 28th. Only one video? Five hours? Okay. So then I can do this 29 one. That's three hours. Let's hope it downloads. 29. We'll put that up and keep it from timing out and get done with that one. And let's move on to this one. So this one is a biopsy. And it's by needle. This one is a surgery. These two are just kind of boxed together because those are bi both biopsies. One of them's surgical procedure and one of them's through a needle through the belly.
This is where we're going to be getting our partials. So right here we we're removing, removal of all or part kidney. And all or part of the ureter. Very vague. I really hate coding. Well, it's so vague. Oh, well, just this code just means, well, we'll remove all or just part of the kidney. Or we'll move all and part of the ureter. Okay, well, what if I move all the kidney but just part of the ureter? Is that the same thing? Or what if I remove part of the kidney but all of the ureter? what good would that do anyway medically but um, it's just so vague oh my gosh hate it <laughs> medical coding love it love it love it no alert oh no are you in the urinary system? Yes, this is the chapter I'm working on now. Very good. That's great. I'm sorry, my cat keeps up the door. I'm in the 2022 CPT book, but it's okay if you're in your 2021 because it doesn't matter. It's okay. You'll at least get to see any new codes you need to add and delete the codes that you um, don't need to have. You can just draw one line through them in case I have some here. So it doesn't matter which book you're in, but I'm in the CPT book. And I'm on page 406 if you happen to be in the 2022 book. My kids are watching some, oh, my oldest, 30, is watching dragons and demons and fighting stuff. Oh, gosh. It's, they got the surround sound jumping. All right, so we talked about how vague this sucker is. Um, this one is a previous surgery gone bad, and then they have to go back in. So we've got previous, we're gonna write previous And it's going to be the same kidney that they're going to be working on again. They're also going to go through the same muscles, same route that they did before to reopen up every layer of the skin in the same area.
You usually have to move your ribs out of the way to get to the kidneys, get a good view of them. You don't think about them being that high up, but All right, the 29th is already downloaded. I don't even know what I did the 29th or what's on it. What in the heck did I do on that video? Is it more OB? It was OB and delivery. Okay. No telling. All right. Let's post that to YouTube. Ooh, I gotta charge my phone. I got 15% battery. Uh oh. All right. That one's loading up. All right. This one, this one, this one is gonna be the entire kidney removed. At least they're being direct there. I think my capped ones right better than my push button ones. I like the push button ones because I have to deal with the caps, but the ink is not as sloppy. Um, let's see, entire kidney removed. Including lymph nodes. And your thrum by. All done. Now, when the vena cava is resected, it's important to know in its reconstruction, you need to go down here and use this code. I don't know if they'll ask it during the exam, but just in case. That might be worth noting. So these are your two little totals. This one removes all of this. Um, the bladder, the cuff, um, kidney, all of it through the same incision. The ureter, the kidney, kidney, be sure you know your AKs, so this is kidney, this is your ureter, 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 and of course we know our bladder is our bladder, yep, all through the same scission. Gonna have 
separate. Separate incision. have the word open which you know I like to circle in green we do have a lesions and this one includes radiology guidance guys so it already includes so Don't let them trick you into adding a 7-7 code to that one. Because they will try. They will try. They will try. Number 80 is an excision of a cyst. And this is going to be through... open incision one or more cyst And um, FYI, these cysts can be on the surface instead of in the kidneys. They can be also on the surface of the kidneys. There we go. So that says excise the cyst from the tissue surrounding the kidney. Mm. What did I write in the bubble? Open, the word open. 
it's an open procedure. It's not a scope or something like that. I like to write open. See, they have open on the 50, but they didn't write open on the 80, and it's also an open procedure. It's like they're just so inconsistent. Drives me nuts. And they're not parent and child code, so this doesn't go under this one. If if you're going to mark it on one parent code, this is a totally new procedure right there. You've got to put it there, too. I don't know. They need an auditor. <laughs> mm. Hey, MK, how's it going? Where have you been? This is like my third hour. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm just glad to see you. I just now put the kids to bed and now you are depriving yourself of sleep just so you can study, I'm sure. That's what's going on. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. When I write at the bottom the camera's not showing. Yeah, y'all keep me, keep me, I need like somebody paying attention to me here so I can know just in case. That's probably easier. I would get it down here closer. It's okay. I'm stopping every two hours and posting them on YouTube as we speak. I just posted the 26 five hour thing that we did the other night and then um, oops my phone just died oh crap <laughs> as I'm posting stuff up on YouTube oh no um, so and then I posted the 26 28 7th 8th and 9th right now I don't know I'm working on it all but <sighs> My darn batteries. Ugh, I gotta remember to get those done. I said to myself I was about to run out of battery, but then I didn't put it on the charger. One code from each. We got a modifier alert right here. This section is about our auto, where we're the driver, right? And then we're going to have a change here to our allographs. So that's somebody else's stuff that's going to be moving to your body because we have the two sticks. I think of them walking somebody else's body parts to to your body. So they're they're going to start out with cadaver or donor donor stuff Ooh. or living from other people. Like if your mom wants to donate a kidney to you or something like that. And the word back bench is 
is a word that I haven't seen on the CPC exam, but I think it's on the CCS exam. It's the standard preparation of the cavit cadaver donor renal stuff um, prior to transportation and all that stuff. Um, it's all that preparatory prep work that is going to go into that and we're going to be coding that code if we need to be doing all that prep work um, for those. But these are all aloes. This is the auto. You're in the driver's seat with the auto. Everybody knows that the autograph is your own body parts being moved from one area to another one, right? And then allograph, somebody's walked them over to you. So that's your differences for sure. Now I'm on page 407 of the 2022 CPT book. Get this sucker to focus. Come on, focus, 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 focus. There you go. Turn this camera back on, this phone back on. Now it's at 5% battery. There we go. At work without any experience as we are doing the multiple choices so if at work homework do we do it huh at work without any experience as we are doing the multiple choices so if at work how do we do it oh Everybody's got policies and procedures in place for how you're going to code um, all your patients um, because they're going to be based off contracts with the health plans or who they contract with. Um, you won't be inventing the wheel and 90% of the coding is done for you by the physician and stuff. They're just going to show you how to do it and what you need to do in the book, in the, in the EHR. So the first thing you need to do is learn what EHR they have. So if they're using um, a data warehouse or a specific EHR, then you need to Google the EHR and learn how to navigate throughout the EHR. Um, Usually when they post a job opening and you want to apply for it, they're going to list a bunch of systems and see if anybody out there knows how to use them. Everything's on YouTube right now. You can go on there and learn all the different types of EHRs that they might be using, Insight or whatever name they've got on it. Start watching some YouTube videos. They're not very difficult. They're all, you got to find out the place where you put in the patient's name, right? You'll be given a task list. It'll show up on your computer that says you've got, you know, 20 charts to submit the claims for for yesterday's visits. And you just screen the visits just like you would. Make sure they picked out the right diagnosis code for whatever and send it on. They'll tell you exactly what they need you to do for their position. None of it's going to be difficult or hard. Um, none of it's going to be indexing or looking things up in the diagnosis books or the books like this. They're going to have a CPT system that's just type the word and search on the computer. Or they'll have a diagnosis system. You type in the diagnosis word and it'll bring up a list of diagnoses that are associated with that. And you just pick out the right one. It's not going to be difficult. Don't Don't stress. Just Google anything that's on the job description as far as whatever EHR they're using, if they want you to be able to download any files into Excel and print them out, find out how to do it. It's 
nothing more than just getting trained on it and they know they have to train everybody that walks in the door you're not going to immediately walk in the door and know how to use their system it's okay you'll be fine um one of the cleveland ohio hospitals um called the university they hire people that don't have their cpc yet to work remotely but you have to get your CPC within 90 days of being hired, but you get to work remotely and practice. They'll have you coding ER visits and all kinds of stuff. You'll learn quick, learn by fire, shove you in there, and here you go. You won't have that kind of trouble. You'll be okay. All right. Let's see if I messed up my YouTube post. You never know till you try. Don't let the fear of the unknown stop you. Go for it. You'll be surprised what you can do, I promise. Let's go here and my videos. Oh, good. I still got one processing. Let's hope it doesn't fail out. We'll see. That's the 29th. Somebody new with no experience who just got their certification is just fine. We can train you how we want you to work. That's perfect. I find it worse when you come from another place and then you're constantly comparing it to the other place. Well, where we worked before, we used to do it this way. Well, you're not there anymore. What purpose does that sentence serve you right now? We're doing it this way. I don't like people that work someplace else. I'd rather hire a new person any day of the week and train them the way I want to. Then I don't get all that, well, we never did it that way before. It's open procedure. I like giving new people a shot for sure. So this one's cadaver. And this one's an open from a living donor. This is your bench back. All that prep work to get that sucker out of somebody's body. Back bench, whatever. I always call it something different. Dyslexia standing around. That's from a living donor. Got a bunch of do nots on this area for sure. Ooh, we got a modifier one way down here. It's going to be right there at the 40. It has an alert that tells us to use a modifier. Love it, love it, love it when they tell us when to use a modifier, for sure. Because that is half the battle right there. Another modifier one right there. Another one. Because you have two kidneys, of course, there'll be lots of these when to use the modifier because you have two. Love it, love it. There's another do not. I forgot to look to see what time I started this live. Okay, and a 
I need to do the highlighting if there is anything to highlight. Ooh. On my uh, first ones over here, this is unilateral and bilateral. This one's open, laparoscopic. Hi, that one's dry as a bone. I need to get me some more yellow highlighters. Lord, where's some more? I know I got some more around here somewhere. Where are we at? That one's dead. There is another one. Oh. Or as Miss Cynthia would say, sugar beans. Sugar beans. All right, right here we've got. And where's my green? Where's my green? Where's my green? She was the funnest to tutor because everything, every time she got something wrong, she'd say sugar beans. <laughs> Love it. Ooh, this one says each. I wonder what that means. What if you had like, I don't think you could only have that once or twice, but I wonder if you code it twice or you do times two. I know our eaches are the ones with the pluses in front of them, but that's just interesting. It's something I've not seen at the end of something that is not a plus symbol. This one does it too. I bet it's something that can only happen once, but they have it as each. Maybe each side. Maybe you have to bill it twice if you do both. Very interesting. I'd love to see this 2005 book to see what they coded it as. Let see if they have got a better explanation of it. Those insider things are so cool. So cool when you get one. Although you have to buy a whole nother book for every single year. These things are cool. They don't do every code every year, but look at the description you get of a code. That thing goes on for days onto another page. It'll tell you and it'll even give you clinical examples of how to code them. But it's not every code. It's only the new ones or something that they might change every year. But man, at that description, goes on for days. You could get a whole lot better idea of what's going on with the codes when you have one of these. But like I said, it's more books to buy, and then they don't do every code every year. It's just hit or miss whether they do them or not. And you have to buy every freaking year. It's a pain. The AMA makes some money yep 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 this right here is what I'm talking about they will definitely say they're snaring something in the CPC exam question and this one's up here is a stent so this one's the snare that's super cool that yep info that you need to know this one's a snare too down here so we've got two snares. Both are removals. So I can so see AAPC picking this. These two as a difference. So the difference is this is internally indwelling and this is a replacement of a dwelling internally. So that'll be our different words that we put in there. But for right now I'm just highlighting stuff and I got a modifier alert up here way up here right there so 
So we'll just star that three times in. So if they're doing an auto, it's, it's not a cadaver. Beep, 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 beep. We might have to use a modifier. Beep, beep. <laughs> Betty's working hard. She's sending me some articles on kidney transplants. Love it. She's been helping me out with some stuff. A lot of stuff. She is super fast. My goodness. All right, cadaver by bachelor and living. All right. So where is my two five? My two fives right there. So my two sevens. So my two seven down to my two nine are all reconstructed. Oh, my goodness. Don't do that book. Are reconstructions. Oh, I should do this in blue since this is veins. They're deoxygenated. And these are arteries. These have oxygen in them. Oh, that's right. I can just stop at midnight because that way I'll be done. That's two more hours. I know now. Okay, and urethra. U R E T. Oh my lord, you're not writing. Why are you not writing? check and make sure my last kid is in bed and then um, I will check those messages. I see I've got some. All the kiddos are bad. Betty, bad, bad, bad. Okay. And then I got messages. Woo, 14 messages. Aloe reminds me of allogenic from the bone marrow. Camera was not in the area where you wrote. How do we do it at work? Do they? Yes, a lot of them use Epic. Absolutely. All the time. Forty-seven minutes ago, you're awesome, Twinkle. Which BK is this? Snare was in a case. Yeah, from your you remember that from the CPC exam? Yep, I bet you do. That just seems like the perfect to you can tell what they if you've audited this CPC exam, you can tell what type of codes that they're gonna just love right off the bat especially the ones that start off the same exact way removal removal 
via via snare via blah, 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 blah. and they just they're super big they're super um, lots of descriptors that way you don't have time to read all of that and figure out what the differences are ahead of time but if you go through these codes like I show you here and go through them then you will know ahead of time what you are doing so this one So this is the recipient who has a bad ki kidney. So we are just removing the bad kidney with this one. That's without, this one is going to be without the recipient right there. Aloe, aloe. I've been moving this book around too much. I did to the page that I just finished. Oh my goodness. Ripped it all out. I'm going to have to... At least I don't have to go in for certification testing, right? <laughs> but maybe I ought to start filming a different way with the book open instead of on top of each other. So I'm not ripping pages around. Okay. This one's aloe, and it goes up here to the next one. And this one's with. So, this one right here, is only, oh goodness gracious, only implant. Here we go. And this one is remove and implant number 70 is for organ rejection so if your question says that they rejected their organ and they came in to remove it 70s your your doll for that one
auto. That's all. It's just an auto transplantation. Let's see. Now this means that a calf goes into kidney. I've gotten too quiet since my kids got home or went to bed I mean what am I saying that's funny that show has been crazy I've been watching that but let's see what the thing oh, Got to put something on in the background to hear because silence drives me nuts. So put a documentary on that I won't pay attention to, but as long as it's making noise. Okay, so 82 is percutaneous, which we find in our lovely little description, but we're going to write it over here. Percut, percutaneous. We're going to remove and replace. Nice, we have a lot of room over here. Urethra stent. And you got your bilateral. If that happens, there's a four year information one. Now the 84, this is just percutaneous also, per cut, and it is for a urethral stent, but it's for the removal only. Removal only. We got our bilateral and do not, so don't forget to mark those up. And then our 85 is trans instead of percutaneous, it's trans. Removal and replace. And I bet our next one will just be trans urethral removal only. They just sort of kind of move in patterns throughout the book like this. These just have so much going on inside of them. Besides the stent, angular approach, percutaneous. These have, um, including rad, they already include rad. And in terp. So they already include interpretation, which is so nice. So they already include interpretation, supervision, and radiology. No mod modifiers for any of that foolishness going on or added CC um, 77 codes.
S and I, which just is supervision and interp. You can write it however you want to. However it makes sense to you. I wrote it three different ways. <laughs> smell. No worries, MK. I'm recording it. Let's see if the one I posted is finished yet. Oh yay. The one from the 29th is posted and that's almost three hours so I'm going to go delete that from my phone. And then, do I have another one I can download? I can't remember. Let's go to Tiki Talk. See what's going on there. Go back to Creator Tools, Live Center, Replays. So I already have the one from earlier today I can download. Ooh, neat. So the two hours, did I do two hours? No, today's the 30th. Okay. Yeah. Look how close we got. I got within 15, 14 seconds of two hours. Y'all are so good. <laughs> You're so good, so good, so good. Twinkle. She's been keeping me up. Look how close you got me. Okay, so I can already download this one from earlier today and post that one in just a minute. So that is cool. This two-hour thing will work. All right, now I need to go over here to this side of the book and stop putting my book on top of the pages. I'm just going to have to lay it open like this. All right, I'm on 86, which, like I said, I thought it was going to be. It's a trans removal only. I think I like that. Includes rad, includes soup, and includes interp. I think I like that. I finally settle down on one thing to say. <sighs> I'm move my chair over. Okay. 87 is external. Remove and replace so we've got some bilateral Modifier notifications. Love it. Now, do I have some? I do. I've got the snare again. Got to make sure we highlight that. 
Right here, I've got external, internal stenting. I need to highlight. Right here, I've got concurrent indwelling urethra. That could very well be in one of the CPC exam questions, for sure. That's just so familiar. And then in the bottom corner, we've got anti-carcinogenic and antifungal that need to be highlighted. There we go. This one, it requires floor soap guidance, meaning it's not included in this one. So you've got to be sure and add that one to this. So we're going to write requires flora. A little star there. Right, use purple, dark blue. Okay. So we're gonna remove Neff tube. Now what happens 